Hey guys, um, I'm Emily, and for my Stackathon, I built a really simple sort of data visualizer. Um, I wanted to look at a sentiment analysis of song lyrics over time, um, ideally hooked up to my Spotify account. So I'll do a demo real quick. So you can see on my Spotify right now, I'm listening to At Last by Etta James. I'll go over to my Moody Tunes app, log into Spotify, my account information. Da, da, da. It's going to pull up a sentimentogram, which is my nickname for a plot of sentiment over time. You can grab the current song, again, playing from my Spotify account. When I hit generate, it creates this interesting little chart. Um, so this is sort of a line by line analysis of the sentiment. So Google natural language processors, positive, negative, neutral. Um, I guess the sentiment of the song line by line over progression through it. Um, so it's pretty neat. You can discover some interesting things. For example, at last is a generally positive song, but if you look at, say, I'd Rather Go Blind, which is decidedly less positive, um, <laughs> you get some interesting things. So it looks at things like a single line, for example, when I saw you and that girl walking out, and it doesn't really realize that in context that's like a pretty negative thing, um, <laughs> and it pulls up as um, slightly positive. But when you get to things like, so you see I love you so much, and then it'll dip down to that I, that I, don't, want to wa that I don't want to watch you leave me, baby. It, displays the fall pretty precipitously. Um, yeah, so this was um, an exercise in APIs. I've talked to the Spotify API a whole lot. It talks to the lyric get node module, which pulls the lyrics from Wikia. Um, and this is a pull to the Google, I think the Google Cloud natural language processor API as well. Um, these charts are done in, not in D3, but in an open source library called Victory, um, which is a really convenient wrapper around D3 that makes it interact with React really, really well. I'd recommend it if you're looking into visualizations for a capstone. Um, and other things, so Spotify's API is incredibly rich. There's some really fun things you can do with it. Um, they have things like danceability, valence scores, things like that stored on a per song basis, um, which eventually I'd like to, you know, these are cards, I'd like to incorporate some of that data into this as well. So, yeah.